Have you ever wondered what lies at the edge of the universe, where the universe begins to unravel its most profound secrets? Imagine a place where the normal rules of physics seem to bend, and some of the strangest phenomena known to science exist. The discovery of a colossal black hole, one that was formed when the universe was still in its infancy, just 470 million years after the Big Bang. Sounds like a scene from a sci-fi thriller, right? But this is no fiction, it's real, and it's been discovered by none other than the James Webb Space Telescope. What could this black hole teach us about the birth of the universe? And why is this discovery rewriting the textbooks of astrophysics? Buckle up, because what we're about to explore might just change the way we think about time and space itself. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has done it again, making history by unveiling a mysterious and massive black hole at the very edge of time. This black hole isn't just any black hole, it's the earliest one ever discovered, existing when the universe was only 470 million years old. That's a mere 3% of its current age. To put this into perspective, that's just a blink in the grand timeline of the cosmos. And what makes this discovery even more mind-blowing? The black hole's mass is a staggering 40 million times that of our sun. For comparison, our galaxy, the Milky Way, has a supermassive black hole at its center, Sagittarius A, which weighs in at a hefty 4 million times the mass of the sun. But this newfound black hole it's 10 times bigger. So how did it form so early in the universe? And why is this discovery shaking the foundations of black hole theory? Before we dive into the details, let's rewind a bit. The formation of supermassive black holes has puzzled astronomers for decades. There are two primary theories about how these cosmic giants form, the light seed theory and the heavy seed theory. The light seed theory suggests that supermassive black holes could originate from the collapse of the first generation of stars, known as Population 3 stars, which formed around 150 million years after the Big Bang. These early stars were massivesome, as large as 100 times the mass of the Sun, and their collapse could have formed light seeds of black holes. These light seeds would then gradually grow over billions of years, consuming surrounding gas and matter. The heavy seed theory posits that supermassive black holes could have formed directly from the collapse of massive gas clouds into black holes, bypassing the slow growth phase. These heavy seeds would be massive from the start, growing much faster and potentially reaching their supermassive size much earlier in the universe's history. Here's the issue. The light seed theory suggests it would take billions of years for these black holes to accumulate enough mass to become supermassive. So, how does this black hole, discovered just 470 million years after the Big Bang, defy this theory? This is where the power of the James Webb Space Telescope and its partner, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, comes into play. To see this far back in time, astronomers didn't just rely on a simple snapshot of the cosmos. They used something called gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing occurs when a massive object, like a galaxy cluster, warps the space-time around it, magnifying the light from objects behind it. In this case, the massive galaxy cluster, Abel 2744, magnified the distant galaxy containing this extraordinary black hole by a factor of four. Essentially, it's like using the universe's natural magnifying glass to zoom in on a faraway object. Thanks to this cosmic magnification, astronomers were able to peer deeper into the distant galaxy, Z1, and see the black hole at its center. But this wasn't just any observation. The team detected an X-ray signature from the region around the black hole, showing just how active it was, consuming matter 
at an astonishing rate. Now here's where things get even more interesting. With this discovery, scientists had to figure out how such a massive black hole could have formed so quickly. They ran simulations to test two competing models. The LightSeed model suggests that the black hole started small and slowly grew over time. But when scientists simulated this model, they found that a light seed would never have grown large enough in such a short time. It would take billions of years, not millions. The heavy seed model, on the other hand, suggests that the black hole started off massive between 10,000 and 100,000 times the mass of the sun. The simulations showed that such a black hole could have grown quickly enough to reach the size observed in just 470 million years. This discovery strongly supports the heavy seed theory. In other words, the black hole at the center of Z1 likely formed directly from the collapse of a massive gas cloud rather than from the remnants of a star. But wait, there's another twist to this story. When scientists looked at the galaxy Z1, they found something truly unexpected. The galaxy's stellar mass was nearly identical to the mass of its central black hole. This is a rare and fascinating find. In most galaxies, the black hole at the center is much smaller than the galaxy itself. For example, the black hole in the Milky Way makes up less than 0.1% of the galaxy's mass. But in Z1, the black hole's mass accounts for almost the entire galaxy's mass. This discovery has led astronomers to coin a new term, outsized black hole gap galaxy, OBHG. This rare phase in galaxy evolution could help us understand the transition from early, massive black holes to the smaller ones we see today. So, how did this supermassive black hole form? The heavy seed theory seems to be the most likely explanation, but there's still so much we don't know. The discovery of Z1 and its massive black hole has raised more questions than answers. Could there be more massive black holes lurking at the edge of time, waiting to be discovered? Are there galaxies out there with more hidden secrets, waiting for the perfect cosmic lens to reveal them? What we do know is that this discovery is a significant step forward in our understanding of the early universe and the birth of the first black holes. It's a reminder of how much more there is to explore in the cosmos and just how much we still have to learn about the universe's origins. Before we wrap up, let's take a moment to appreciate the beauty of gravitational lensing, the phenomenon that allowed us to peer back into the cosmos and make this groundbreaking discovery. Without it, this black hole could have remained hidden for centuries. It's just one example of how the universe's natural phenomena continue to astonish and surprise us. From distant galaxies to the cosmic web that connects us all, gravitational lensing is helping us see more of the universe than ever before. To sum it up, the discovery of this massive black hole at the edge of time is a game changer for astrophysics. It challenges existing theories, opens the door to new possibilities, and gives us a glimpse into the birth of the universe itself. As technology advances and our understanding of the cosmos deepens, who knows what other mysteries we'll uncover in the years to come. And hey, if you're as fascinated by space as I am, be sure to hit that like button and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Your support helps us continue exploring the wonders of the universe. Be sure to subscribe to Spaceified and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update on our latest discoveries. Dive deeper into the mysteries of space by checking out our other videos and let's keep the adventure going on together.